yeah i have just shared it on your facebook page right now so you can see uh, yes uh, uh, can you see it uh i i can't see because i am not i'm not connected right now i'm just focusing here ah no problem so yeah. that's all right just now two more minutes before i finish sharing at one or two more places okay for people so that we get maximum people to view it So I'm going to share it on my Ahinsa Festival page also because that's where also many people are tuning in. Yes. Okay. Done. Yeah, it is looking like that. All right. So now it's your uh, page. Everything is clear. It's all seen. Okay. Done. Uh, this yeah. is six. I am. Uh, I'm going to mute myself, and I am going to mute all the participants also. Just uh, give you, me a minute. Uh, you uh, every every fifteen minutes you have to remind me that uh, uh, my voice is very clear. Okay. I will. I will. Uh, we will keep doing that. Uh, you are mute you are mute we can't hear, we can't hear you you are mute just please change it you are mute doctor yeah now hello yes yes yeah. yes now we can yeah it's perfect yes. uh, uh, welcome dr pavan vadwan i have heard and seen your video you know so many times about the milk and also the wonderful work that you do with which is universal particularly from you know the whole food plant based diet and lifestyle and also you are doing sujo therapy it's very interesting uh, friends welcome dr vadwan and he is uh, expert in uh, the nutrition part which is what we would love to hear a lot more today he has amazing results he's got hundreds of videos on internet and it's really and honor to have him here thank you uh, dr vadwan to be here yes ma'am thank you very much uh, friends we are here for one and a half hour and i am here to discuss uh, lifestyle disease reversal with whole food plant based diet uh, this is a special seminar and uh, why it is special is because this seminar is dedicated to the spirit of the himsa festival i thank you all of you to joining me and uh, thanks that you are uh, following the right kind of nutrition because it is not only uh, this nutrition is very good for our health it is also very good uh, for our planet because uh, planet because global warming issues are there and many things are happening uh, the people who are following whole food plant based diet are not only healthiest but they are helping the planet so uh, this seminar is a very extensive seminar uh, i will be very fast and uh, covering many topics uh, you have to be uh, uh, hold your you have to hold your nerves and be with me uh, question and answers will be taken in the last 20 minutes right so uh, uh, we are starting now and it is lifestyle disease reversal with whole food plant based diet uh so see why uh, uh, in this seminar i am just focusing on the health part of the whole food plant based diet the environmental issues has been taken already by dr tushar mehta and many other uh, participants so uh, uh, this is not the concern in this seminar here we are mainly concerned with the health now the thing is uh, we all love health we are here uh, we follow whole food plant based diet because we all want to be healthy how to be healthy what how how can we keep the body healthy uh, if we look at this model there are four things which are required to keep the body healthy suppose i would take a model of a healthy car like we bring a mercedes car a imported car so how to maintain that car the model is how to heal the human body there are four problems which can happen in this car first is any of the nut bolt which may um, uh, this uh, any nut bolt go wrong like brake is not working steering is not working mirror is not working what you will do you will go to the mechanic and repair it 
right uh, so it has to be tightened if brake is not working it has to be tightened if uh, the uh, uh, mirror is not working it has to be uh, taken care by the mechanic this is what happens to our body right uh, i will talk it later later now other thing is uh, the car has to be sent to the service station every three months if you are not sending the car to the service station it will not work properly so every three months car has to be sent and next is uh, what kind of petrol you put in your car the, if the petrol you are putting in your car is very good it is high quality petrol uh, like premium quality petrol the mileage of the car will be very good it will be it will run very smooth in the same way human body is a car it is an imported car made by god which is uh, wonderful to know and uh, if any nut bolt or any spare part of this car is not working properly suppose you have a headache or you have a slip disc or you have a osteoarthritis you have a heart problem you should go to the doctor so that the doctor uh, who is a mechanic repairs it now how he repairs it it, it may be in the any form like it may be allopathic doctor it may be a sujok specialist acupressure specialist acupuncture specialist homeopathy allopathy ayurveda anybody but they are just mechanics they just repair that particular par, part now this car is mercedes car imported car human body and it requires servicing servicing daily servicing has to happen daily so you should daily go for a walk you should daily do some tai chi some yoga twist therapy gymnas spiral motion you should do something something daily so so as to keep the joints healthy keep the body healthy and the body is uh, working fine so uh, it should be serviced daily uh, now about the third thing you should put a very qu good quality petrol in your car in your body that is the food it depends what quality of fuel you are putting in your body it will tell how much long you will live how many disease you get how much long you last so this is very important and human body is not only a physical car it is a metaphysical car also it has a spiritual connection with the god so it's some kind of uh, meditation some sort of spirituality some sort of uh, smile and uh, behavioral changes and behavioral modifications are required to keep the mind healthy so this is a very clear uh, message to you that how to keep how to heal the human body now the thing is in this seminar we are not concerned here about the mechanic part we are not we are not talking about the servicing part but we are talking about these two things these are two are called as ahar vihavara ahara ahar means food and vihavara means how you behave in the society how you react to your circumstances into the society, in, in in many situations if you master these two things the 90% of the problems get solved and our main concern is the food part because see uh, you go to a doctor once in a month once in a month or maybe uh, 15 days you go for a walk only once a day but you eat food three to five times a day and your behavior that is smiling behavior uh, you ha you are doing every movement how you are reacting to your circumstances your situations every movement if you are taking stress so much of stress no matter what food you are taking or who, what doctor what nephrologist what cardiologist you are going it does not matter uh, what kind of walk or tai chi or yoga you are doing it does not matter if your behavior is not good you are not stress free your you will be dis diseased so most important things are uh when you require five five to six times food in the one day and you have to smile in every moment keep smiling in every moment and don't take stress so we are we are our main should be so let's go for it a uh, more different types of food there are four types of food which occurs in this world uh, one is the food food which comes directly from the god that is the sunlight most important i will tell you about it the set other food is the food which is extorted from the other species food which is uh, with the killing spirit that we kill other species and take food out of them uh, we uh, create problems for them and uh, this is the killing spirit food which is extorted from other species the food uh, then we have a food which is artificially made for earning profit food artificially made for earning profit that is refined processed food where the companies want to make profit out of it and we have a fourth type of food which is naturally naturally grows in the nature under god spirit like fruits vegetables lentils peas and grains and this food grows in the nature naturally naturally uh, so uh, look at this uh, uh, it is the vitamin d of the sunlight the food from the god animal food like meat eggs fish and dairy products which are the food which is extorted from other species a food uh, all industrial refined processed and preserved food 
uh, is the food which is made with the spirit of earning profit vegetable lentils beans fruits and cereals are all, all mildly cooked are those foods which grows in the nature under god's spirit this is the whole food plant based diet the global and regional mortality from top 20 causes of death the lancet published a data that number one cause of death in the world is high blood pressure and the number fourth cause of death in the world is the diet low in fruits diet low in the fruits is the fourth most cause most important cause of death in the world so many deaths because we are not in fruits. and then we have a time sodium is causing so many deaths diet low in nuts and the seeds is causing so many deaths and high total cholesterol in the diet again causing so many deaths diet low in whole grains is causing so many deaths all over the world i mean diabetes is not listed here there is no list the cancer is causing so many deaths there is in this list there is no tuberculosis there is no dengue there is no malaria but it is the food which is most important diet low in fruits Oh my God, which means if we are eating a lot of fruits, uh, we may escape some, such a big death rate. It's great to know because Lancet is one of the renowned international medical journal and it has clearly shown that uh, wrong kind of diet uh, is causing mortality in the world. Now about the sunshine, the God's food. Sun is the source of this solar system. It has been proved now in multiple international studies that vitamin D is linked to cancer. Majority of the international studies have found a protective relationship between sufficient amount of vitamin D and the lower risk of cancer. So if your vitamin D status is good, you are going out into the sun properly, you, there are very less chances that you will develop cancer. Okay, so this is published in the American Journal of Public Health in 2006 and they have clearly shown that uh, vitamin D, if your vitamin D level is good, there are very less chances you will develop cancer. Vitamin D and the immune system in the Georgetown, Georgetown University, they have published a paper which has proved that sunlight offers a surprise benefit. It energizes infection fighting T cells. What are T cells? T cells are those cells of the immune system which actually give us uh, fighting immunity against many kinds of viruses, bacteria, and fungi. So if your T cells are working very fine and they are being energized by the sunlight uh, you will not develop any kind of infection so vitamin d is very very important for the immune system vitamin d in allergies and asthma in many international studies vitamin d in atopic dermatitis asthma and allergic disease they have proved that it There is a relationship between low levels of vitamin D and the occurrence of allergic disease. Vitamin D deficiency is more likely to report atopic dermatitis, which means if your vitamin D level is proper, if your vitamin D level is very good, around 100, you are very less, your asthma will go off. If you have any allergies, they will go off because vitamin D is the food from the sun, the God, which is coming directly from the zero world. Uh, low sun exposure causes diabetes because uh, low sunlight, low vitamin D, it, in, in, because it is very important for the immune system, immune system malfunctions, beta cells malfunction, low insulin production, and you develop diabetes. You develop a lot of inflammation and your immune system is not working fully. So one of the main reasons for the people who are following whole food plant-based diet and their sugar is not getting down, down, which means you are not properly going out into the sun. There are so many landmark trials showing link of vitamin D deficiency and diabetes. These are all landmark trials and they, uh, the link to the, all these trials will be given to you people later on. Means I am very clear that low sun exposure causes diabetes. And it is proved in so many journals. So go out in sun. Vitamin D sclerosis, you know, wherever, if you go near the equator, the countries which are near the equator, there is no multiple sclerosis there. There is zero prevalence of multiple sclerosis in the countries which are near the equator, which means uh, multiple sclerosis, actually, all of you know, it's a deadly condition where the uh, whole of the nervous system is affected and the, there are repeated attacks of the paralysis. And in India, its uh, prevalence is quite high, especially in the south where there is a lot of non veg intake, uh, multiple sclerosis level, uh, prevalence is quite high. So vitamin D in multiple sclerosis, therapeutic potential of vitamin D for multiple sclerosis. In this paper, they proved that in equator, near the equator there is no 
multiple sclerosis because of good sunlight exposure. Vitamin D and cardiovascular disease in international studies, they have proved that vitamin D has a potential anti-atherosclerotic effect, which means atherosclerosis is what? Deposition of cholesterol into the arteries. And vitamin D has got a lot of anti-atherosclerosis effect. And if you go to your cardiologist these days, they will they, you can see the prescription is containing vitamin D tablets. So better go out in sun if you don't want to die from heart attack. How much is insufficient? Uh, this is again the quote from my international medical journals. A pan India study has revealed that best time to get exposed to the sun is between 11 a.m and 1 p.m. since the wavelength of ultraviolet D rays is 290 to 320 nanometer during this period which is essential for the skin to make vitamin D which means some people think that morning sunlight is very good to go out yes it is good to uh, you can enjoy that sunlight but the best time to make vitamin D is between 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at a latitude on which India is located I'm not talking about other countries if you're in India you should go out into the sun from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. for how many minutes? Here it is written that sunshine, how much is enough? If you know how much sunshine causes a slight redness of your skin, then one fourth of this amount, provided two to three times a week, is more than adequate to meet our vitamin D needs and to store some in our liver and body fat, which means if your skin becomes slightly red after about 30 minutes in the sun, then 10 minutes three times per week will be enough exposure to get plenty of vitamin D. So what I suggest to take three days in a week and with minimal cloths like t-shirts and shorts, you go out into the sun and uh, stay there for 10 to 15 minutes. Because I think for an average Indian who is uh, not very fairer, not very dark, and medium uh, uh, medium fair quality uh, uh, it, uh, he, that person's skin becomes I think a red uh, itching starts especially for me after a, a half an hour so I think for me 10 to 15 minutes uh, in 30 percent of the cloths uh, with t-shirts and shorts uh, three times a week is more than enough for adequate levels of vitamin D to be maintained in the body food extorted from other species with healing spirit. Now we are talking about the non-veg part. Uh, non-veg part is uh, like uh, meat, fish, eggs, and dairy. Incidence of now, uh, see, uh, we are all. Uh, this is a Himsa festival, and I have to make it very clear that why non-veg, uh, including meat, fish, eggs, and dairy, is bad. So let's because this, uh, as per my model, this food is not good because it is extorted from other species killing it. This spirit is itself, it shows, uh, means it is not God's spirit, it is not bad. So let's look at it. Incidence of cancer in poultry, even those uh, people who are working in the poultry farms, a pilot case cohort study of liver and pancreatic cancers in the poultry workers. Studies have proven that those people even work in the poultry farmers, even if they are vegetarians and not eating the non, uh, this um, uh, uh, chickens, even then they are more prone to develop, uh, nine times to 10 times more prone to develop pancreatic cancer and the liver cancer because of the prevalence of viruses, cancer causing viruses in these uh, poultry chickens because they are kept in a very unhygienic condition uh, one room will be keeping around thousand four thousand chickens and because of their unhealthy conditions there are a lot of cancer viruses in them which you get exposed uh, when you are working there so even if you are working there you get 10 times more higher chances of developing a liver and cancer then imagine if you are eating them i mean it is 100 times more cancer causing than if you are away from uh, unhealthy unhygienic uh, poultry a meat and the cancer week the lancet international medical journal have proved that red meat and processed meat are carcinogenic they have labeled means uh, the world's biggest journal has already labeled that red and processed meat are carcinogenic. They are cancerous. They are cancer causing. EPIC study, the European Prospective Investigation into the Cancer and Nutrition study proved that cancer is strongly linked to poultry consumption. The EPIC study found that the risk increased between 56% and the 280% for every 50 grams of poultry consumed daily. A truth about the eggs, 
uh, he the in uh, one small area 10000 to 20000 of chickens are kept and they all live in a very unhealthy conditions where so much of excreta is produced uh, so no these uh, all these chickens are prone to develop a lot of diseases uh, so but the poultry uh, farmers don't want that they want them to live so that they earn profit out of it uh, so what they do they they feed them uh, with a lot of high antibiotics in their veins so what they found is the highest level of the antibiotics are at the site of injection and in the eggs after the injection of nitox which is a long acting formulation of tetracycline the detection of the residues of the antibiotic in the poultry flesh byproducts and eggs may be associated with the development of cytotoxic effects and with the reduced functional capacities of the organs so which means uh, all these eggs have a lot of uh, antibiotics because uh, chicken are fed with them and even the injections are given into the eggs also other to maintain uh, the uh, them uh, so it is not good uh, because eggs are not good a lot of antibiotic exposure is there uh, they are given uh, all the chickens are fed with a lot of antibiotics animal food and the antibiotic resistance according to a new report by fda approximately 80 percent of all antibiotics used in the united states are fed to farm animals this means that in the United States, only 20% of antibiotics which were originally developed to protect human health are actually used to treat infections in people. Matlab, jitna antibiotic banaya jata hai, uska kewal 20% hi uh, humans, uh, humans ko jata hai, baki ka sara ka sara animals ko, uh, jo uh, farm animals hai, unko maintain karne mein use ho jata hai, which is a big loss because we, uh, uh, because of this so uh, uh, waste uh, use of antibiotics, we uh, antibiotic resistance is coming and people are dying because uh, uh, they are using tetracyclines in the chicken and eggs so much. Uh, how much they use per year uh, consumption of antibiotics for animal use is 63,151 tons per year. And will rise by 67% by 2030. It's a big loss. It's a big loss for human community because remember agar aaj aapka gala kharab hota hai agar aaj aapko zukam hota hai ya a pet mein infection hoti hai you go to the doctor he, he gives antibiotics and uh, you get relief so fast that you are able to go to work next day but suppose what happens you develop pneumonia and antibiotics are not working on you it will be havoc on the earth so uh, it is not good uh, in one of the biggest newspaper the new york times in September 24, 1907, around 100 years ago, published on the headline that cancer increases among meat eaters. It is known from 110 years. My God. And they have written on, on the other hand, Italian and practically vegetarians show the lowest mortality of all. So this newspaper in 1907, they published it. We all know meat is bad. Even then, I don't know why people are eating uh, and uh, everybody knows the bio amplification of the pesticides suppose uh, because all the pesticides why they are bad is because they are non biodegradable what is non biodegradable what is non biodegradability is if a pesticide goes into your body it will not leave your body forever suppose you are eating food and all the food whatever is taken by yourself the remaining excreta is taken out in the form of feces and urine but whatever pesticide is there in the food uh, it will not come out of the body it will stick to your body tissues so daily some 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 pesticide is sticking into your body tissues so the thing is you have to understand that uh, if uh, you eat a dog or some uh, cow or some chicken who is feeding on a food full of pesticides since 10 years then that 10 years of pesticide exposure will come to you in one dish because if you eat these plants you will get exposed to this amount of pesticides if you this all eat all these you are exposed to this much amount of pesticide but these cows these uh, buffaloes or goat or uh, chicken are being fed 
all these uh, grass and uh, food for many years before it takes maybe two to three years for them to develop and uh, you know cows uh, buffaloes uh, uh, these chickens and goat they have a habit only of eating they just eat because they have they don't have any work they have to live at one place so they uh, eat a lot of pesticides since many years and once you cut them all the pesticide of past two to three years you are exposed in one dish that's why chances of developing cancer are more in meat eaters it is called as the bio amplification of the pesticides in the food chain so you eat lower the food chain that is you that is you eat plants and grasses you are exposed to less pesticide because we can't escape pesticides pesticide is everywhere everywhere there is very uh, less chance that we can escape these pesticides but yes you can reduce your exposure it is just doing suicide if you are uh, eating one dish and you are being exposed to tons of pesticide which is being deposited in the body of uh, animals since years fish consumption and the risk of diabetes people think that fish consumption is good uh, in bringing you down international medical journals prove yeah hello yeah the voice is little bit breaking so any problem wait try again oh is is, is my voice clear yes yeah now it's better okay we are continuing uh, fish consumption and the risk of diabetes uh, environmental uh, studies have proven that because fish lives in the sea and in the sea uh, there are a lot of contaminants like especially seas full of mercury and dioxins so because fish is exposed to all those toxic chemicals that's why fish consumption increases the chances of developing diabetes the, and the, what is written in this medical journal which is the international journal of endocrinology in 2013 it published that environmental contaminants such as dioxins and methyl mercury found fish might raise the risk of type 2 diabetes mellitus fish oil and the heart attacks people think that omega 3 fatty acids contained in the fish are very good for heart they lower the cholesterol but the biggest journal of journal of american medical association in september 2012 published the data that overall omega 3 polyunsaturated fatty acid supplementation was not associated with lower risk of all cause mortality cardiac death sudden death myocardial infarction or stroke based on relative and absolute measures of association which means eating fish oil is not at all good for your heart it is proven by the biggest journal journal of american medical association fish consumption and alzheimer's disease conclusion of this integrative medicine journal excessive seafood intake particularly large mouth fish elevates mercury levels and causes cognitive dysfunction leading to development of alzheimer's disease a metal analysis as published in the diabetes care journal in 1998 has proved that daily intake of fish oil has no protective effect on hyperglycemia in type 2 diabetes mellitus as previously assumed this is again the world's biggest journal diabetes care journal is the biggest uh, uh, journal on diabetes a study done by journal of kalanta in 2010 showed that even the best qualities of fish oil are heavily contaminated by toxic organochlorines now uh, yeah, so everybody is very clear that uh, eating meat eating eggs and eating fish is not at all good not at all good now let's go more detail because see in the non veg contains a lot of fat non veg contains a lot of protein now what is the international data on animal fat and what is the international data on animal protein uh look at the animal fat animal fat is called as the unsaturated fat okay uh, sorry animal fat is called as the saturated fat and plant fat is called as the unsaturated fat unsaturation means it is not fully developed It, it is like the chain is not very uh, straight it is little curved because it is unsaturated but because animal fat is very saturated so it is very straight line okay now if you in a layman's language agar main aapko batana chahta hu ki animal fat kya hai aur plant fat kya hai so it is very simple this is your plant fat and this is your 
animal fat okay so if you are eating a lot of animal fat what yes if you are taking a lot of animal fat what will happen and if you are taking a lot of plant fat what will happen suppose a person is taking a lot of plant fat so this is the plant fat which is flowing into your blood vessels and this is the animal fat if you are eating a lot of non veg not lot of eggs lot of desi ghee then this is the uh, animal fat which is flowing into your vessels so there are chances that this animal fat will get deposited because you see this it has a tendency to get deposit on your blood vessels is simple si lines hai jo ek ke upar ek baithti jayengi they will deposit on one number one another one number another one number another and there are more chances that you will develop uh, atherosclerotic plaques but this is plant fat and it is very difficult for it to get deposit deposit one ab above another because of their complex shapes so uh, if you are eating a plant fat i mean uh, there are less chances of developing atherosclerosis so there are less chances of developing heart attacks and myocardial infarctions now uh, in the medical community there is one concept <coughs> called as insulin resistance i i think deeply about it uh, so because you know cell membranes are made of always lipids cell membranes are always made of lipids and these lipids uh, always uh, make uh, most of the cell wall membranes suppose you are eating a lot of plant fat so this is this will happen your uh, blood vessel uh, your cells membranes will be deposited with the plant cholesterols and if you are eating a non veg uh, animal fat so your uh, cell membranes will be uh, deposited with animal fat and this animal fat is because straight lines so it will get deposited and the cell membrane will be very dense very dense and here the cell membrane thickness will be sparse and for insulin to go into the cell it needs a way it needs some key holes there are key holes there and there are more chances that insulin can make its own way to go into the cell but here there is less chances that insulin can go in uh, go inside the cell because of this non complex structure there is no way for insulin to go inside if you are cell is made of fat cells so the people who eat more animal fat they have more insulin resistance they have more insulin resistance but the people who eat plant fat they develop less insulin resistance this is very simple it makes a logic right a national institute of health report 2009 consuming fat from the plant based food in its natural state can help in decreasing the risk of diabetes agar aap plant fat kha rahe hain to aapka diabetes ka risk अगर नेचुरल प्लांट फैट खा रहे हैं तो डायबिटीज का रिस्क कम होता है ये किसने पब्लिश किया नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ हेल्थ व्हिच इज द बिगेस्ट अथॉरिटी इन इंडिया टू गवर्न द लॉस रिगार्डिंग हेल्थ द फैट फ्रॉम द एनिमल फूड और इंडस्ट्रियल फैट सच एज वेरियस काइंड्स ऑफ रिफाइंड ऑयल कैन बी एंड रिजल्ट इन इंक्रीजिंग द रिस्क ऑफ डायबिटीज सो इफ यू आर ईटिंग नेचुरल प्लांट्स द चांसेस ऑफ डेवलपिंग डायबिटीज आर वेरी लेस these are so many landmark trials the link of all these trials will be given to you by rupa ji later on uh, all these uh, studies are available on the internet and all these landmark trials have compared animal and plant fats and about the risk of developing diabetes and they have proved that if you are taking natural plant fat like nuts if you are eating nuts there are very less chances that you develop diabetes rather your risk totally goes off so many studies look at it there's so much of data a plant protein now i talked about the fat so you are clear that animal fat is bad even plant fat is bad which is refined fat because national institute has has given the clear statement that fat from the animal food or industrial fat which is a plant which may be plant fat like oils canola oil olive oil uh, mustard oil whatever plant fat which is unnatural also increases the chances of developing diabetes now let's talk about the protein because uh, meat contains protein egg contains protein sprouts contain protein lentils and peas contains protein research from the women's health study as published in diabetes care journal in 2004 and the results from the european prospective investigation into the cancer and nutrition have proved that among the subjects with higher consumption of animal protein they were also at increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes these are again so many trials uh, which have compared plant protein to the animal protein and all the above studies indicate that if the protein is consumed from a plant source that too in its natural state then it helps in insulin sensitivity and reduces the risk of diabetes about milk yes uh, in india milk is considered as vegetarian 
we will dig deep into this topic because it has the message has to be very very clear the milk is not at all good milk and diabetes the world's biggest journal with the hundred percent impact factor the new england journal of medicine published a data in 1992 a bovine albumin is possible trigger for developing insulin dependent diabetes mellitus 1992 they published a journal and told that it is the cow's milk which causes diabetes and you know new england journal of medicine is the uh, god of uh, medicine whatever they say it is accepted by everybody nobody challenges new england journal of medicine uh, proceedings of the nutrition society in november 2000 they clearly gave the message that cow's milk and immune mediated diabetes which means cow's milk causes diabetes you can read these journals all this this powerpoint will be given to you rupa ji will uh, mail the pdf version of this powerpoint plus links will be given to you about these studies you can look these are all available on the internet and proceedings of the nutrition society is again world's renowned journal <coughs> Nelson textbook of pediatrics uh, like for a medicine person like I am uh, MBBS MD in internal medicine uh, like uh, for me the Bible is uh, uh, Harrison's textbook of medicine and for all the pediatricians pediatricians you know child specialist doctor for them the Bible uh, is Nelson's textbook of pediatrics and in the Nelson's textbook of pediatrics the doctor has the most important book has clearly that type 1 diabetes happens due to early introduction of cow's milk type 1 diabetes happens due to early introduction of cow's milk uh, uh, in if you go visit a dairy farm uh, you will see that uh, they have a thousand of cows and buffaloes and the staff is only maybe 50 60 or 100 so what they do is they have a special types of vacuum machines because every cow they have given oxytocin injections and it is producing about 40 liters of milk and this all the milk should be sucked in 10 minutes how to suck it is not humanly possible to take out all this milk in uh, 10 minutes so they use this uh, vacuum devices which have nut bolts very which would fit into the tits of the cows like this they screw it and they suck all the milk in 10 minutes now what happens when that uh, that those nut bolts are uh, loosened, the tits of the cow starts bleeding. <coughs> and in the by, uh, by the evening, you can see that these uh, there is pus coming out of them. So in 1996, WHO uh, summoned US uh, uh, US milk industry that uh, your milk contains a lot of pus. Okay, uh, uh, so this it, uh, uh, this is the uh, debate going on in the US and uh, the US uh, milk industry answered back to WHO that although yes, we agree that our milk contains a lot of pus, but it does not matter to the health of the human beings. Why? Because we pasteurize the milk. We first heat the milk to 100 degrees, we boil the milk to 100 degrees, then we cool the milk to 0 degrees. Because of this pasteurization, all the bacteria are killed. So what there is no harm if there is pus, it does not matter. And if you know in the USA there are three types of milk: quality A milk, quality B milk, and the quality C milk. Quality C milk is very cheap, and quality A quality milk is very very expensive. Uh, and by US law, grade A milk is allowed to have over a drop of pus per eight ounce glass of milk, which means roughly 135 million pus cells are there in one glass of milk which is the a quality milk of usa and in india amul mother dairy and many other uh, milk companies are there i don't know uh, that milk if taken to us will be labeled as uh, c uh, or b it i don't it will be a because i think 30 to 40 rupees per liter of milk uh, it will be quality c or b only and uh, no matter how much they pasteurize this milk I cannot drink pus. I cannot drink pus. This is ridiculous. Four landmark trials showing linkage of milk and type 1 diabetes mellitus. These four landmark trials have proved that milk is linked to type 1 diabetes mellitus. Finland, which has the highest milk consumption, also has the world's highest per capita rate of insulin dependent diabetes. Finland is the most and there is the most type 1 diabetes. Hai. 
और ये डायबिटीज केयर आई एम दिस इज नॉट दिस इज नॉट मी कॉटिंग दिस इज इन ऑल वट एवर आई हैव शोड यू ऑल आर मेडिकल इंटरनेशनल मेडिकल जर्नल्स एंड दे आल्सो हैव बीन स्टडीड वेरी वेरी प्रॉपरली वट एवर इंटरनेशनल मेडिकल जर्नल वॉज इन्फ्लुएंस्ड by any pharmaceutical company or any other company i have i have not taken those journals i have on taken only those journals which were uh, in the bottom of the journal it is clearly written that authors have no conflict of interest means they have no benefits from this study because we uh, uh, i i am uh, a student of dr michael greger uh, who is called as the god of uh, nutrition and we uh, he has uh, taught me um to many of uh, students like me that how to very deeply dig into the journals by example this the example of this is coming in next three to four slides so finland ke andar mein bahut zyada doodh piya jata hai and there is maximum number of diabetes there a protein what happens is how milk causes diabetes actually protein from the cow's milk is casein and casein amino acid sequence number is 1717 and the beta cells of the pancreas their amino acid sequence is also 17 so what happens when you drink milk it goes into your body the casein uh, is uh, uh, immune system goes and recognizes casein as 17 number molecule and it digests that casein what happens monday morning you wake up and immune system thinks that beta cells of pancreas is also casein 17 number 17 17 confusion so it starts digesting the insulin uh, beta cells and they start dying that's why you develop type 1 diabetes and in a small child who is less than 1 years of old <coughs> there are very less chances uh, because intestine is very thin so uh, there is very uh, high chance that this casein will escape the intestinal mucosa direct and go directly into the blood blood stream where uh, it will be missed it will create autoimmunity but in a young adult or a, a adult male because intestinal mucosa is very thick so there is chances that this intestine will break down casein molecule and 17 number will not go directly into the blood dairy food invites the chronic disease in the body american journal of epidemiology dairy products and the risk of parkinson's disease in summary evidence from this and previous prospective studies support a positive association between dairy consumption and the risk of parkinson's disease particularly in men so if you are drinking a lot of milk there are more chances that you will develop parkinson's disease milk and prostate cancer risk high intakes of dairy products milk low fat milk cheese and total dietary and dairy calcium may increase total prostate cancer risk this is proven in american journal of clinical nutrition that milk high milk consumption is linked to prostate cancer cow's milk and breast cancer high consumption uh, this is again uh, one of the uh, best journals breast care journal it is the world's best journal which is uh, linked to breast related disease it has published a data that high consumption of cow's milk was a risk factor for development of breast cancer now pcod and its relation to dairy many women are fatty these days and they if ultrasound is done uh, their ovaries uh, will be found to be bulky and uh, international medical journals uh, have proved that this is the international journal of Pre prevalence of medicine have proved that there is a relationship between intake of dairy products and polycystic ovarian syndrome so i always ask all the those ladies who comes to my opd with pcod problem and i found that all of them are actually taking a lot of milk and uh, around 40 of my patients when milk products were totally stopped their pcod reversed in 6 months milk consumption during you now uh, many people think milk is very good for bones now what international medical journals that is a jama the biggest journal journal of american medical association milk consumption during teenage teenage years and the risk of hip fractures in older adults conclusion was a significant 9% increase in the risk of hip fractures was observed in the men for each additional glass of milk consumed per day during teen teenage years so if in the young age you are taking a lot of milk there are more chances that you will develop bone disease and hip fractures during your old age so milk is not at all good for bones the uh, one more uh, big journal british bmj british medical journal published a research that milk intake and the risk of mortality mortality means dying and the risk of mortality and fractures in women and men 
कंक्लूजन वॉज हाई मिल्क इनटेक वॉज एसोसिएटेड विद हाइयर मोर्टेलिटी की अगर आप ज्यादा दूध पी रहे हैं तो ज्यादा जल्दी मर जाएंगे इन वन को हार्ट ऑफ वुमेन एंड इन अनदर को हार्ट ऑफ मेन विद हाइयर फ्रैक्चर इंसिडेंस इन वुमेन सो देर आर मोर फ्रैक्चर and there is more chance that we will die early if we drink more milk this is not me saying it is all by international medical journals now a1 milk for uh, uh, a1 the, uh, there is a this this uh, big battle is going on that desi cow milk is good and uh, jersey cow milk is bad uh, remember one thing a1 milk is for a1 calf and a2 milk is for a2 calf now let's go deep into it today we will debunk the A2 milk scam. Origin of the A2 milk classification. A1 and A2 milk, जो है, they are classified based on the genetics of the cows from which they are milked. A1 milk is made from genetically modified cows, यानी कि जर्सी काउ से A1 milk निकलता है, and A2 cow is milked from pure breeds of like they say it's desi cow. The this classification. हाउ ये कैसे कंसेप्ट आया कैसे दिस क्लासिफिकेशन बिकेम फेमस आफ्टर कीथ वुडफोर्ड पब्लिश अ बुक टाइटल्ड डेविल इन द मिल्क दिस बुक वाज पब्लिश एंड दिस कंसेप्ट केम दिस बुक एनलाइटन पीपल ऑन द डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ कंज्यूमिंग मिल्क बट नॉट कंप्लीटली एंड यू नो हु इज कीथ वुडफोर्ड इट्स फ्रॉम व्हिच कंट्री इट इज फ्रॉम न्यूजीलैंड एंड दिस बुक वाज पब्लिश्ड इन न्यूजीलैंड एंड इट बिकेम अ बेस्ट सेलर Later on, it became famous internationally, creating a demand for A2 cow's milk. The term A2 milk was first coined in the New Zealand. There is a company there. वहाँ पे एक बहुत बड़ी company है, which is A2 milk company. And A2 milk company is responsible for for producing all the data regarding the goodness of A2 milk. Let's look into the data which is there in the international medical journals, because this is where Dr. Michael Greger comes. Uh, this is a big uh, journal, Nutrition Journal of Nutrition. It has stated that uh, effect of milk containing only A2 beta casein. One second, uh, just one second. Very interesting information on A1 and A2. Uh, yeah. Many times the patients are switching on to A2 milk, thinking that that is. Hello. Hello. Yeah, go on. Yeah, uh, effect of milk. Now see what what this journal says. Is this journal says is effect of milk containing only A2 A2 beta casein versus milk containing both A1 and A2 beta casein proteins on GIT physiology. On symptoms of discomfort and cognitive behavior. मतलब in this journal ने 50 50 cows वो ली जो A1 milk produce A2 milk produce करती थी और 50 वो cows ली जो A1 plus A2 mix milk produce करती like jersey cow के अंदर में A1 और A2 protein दोनों होते हैं लेकिन जो desi cow है उसके अंदर केवल A2 beta protein होता है तो इन्होंने ये journal बहुत बड़ा journal है और इन्होंने study किया around many cows के ऊपर और उस उन उस milk का लोगों के पेट के ऊपर मतलब on on the abdominal comfort और उनकी कॉग्निशन मींस मेमोरी के ऊपर क्या इफेक्ट आता है उसको स्टडी किया और इसका रिजल्ट ये था दैट कंजम्पशन ऑफ मिल्क कंटेनिंग ए वन बीटा कैसिन वाज एसोसिएटेड विद इंक्रीज्ड जीआईटी इन्फ्लेमेशन एंड डिक्लाइन इन कॉग्निशन एंड नो अबव एडवर्स इफेक्ट्स वर फाउंड इन पीपल कंज्यूमिंग ए टू मिल्क सो इतने बड़े जर्नल ने एक स्टेटमेंट दिया कि अगर आप ए वन मिल्क लेते हैं तो आपका पेट खराब रहेगा आपको लैक्टोस इंटॉलरेंस रहेगी और आपको एल्जाइमर्स डिजीज हो जाएगा लेकिन अगर आप देसी काउ यानी ए टू मिल्क ले रहे हैं तो आपको ये सब नहीं होगा सो दिस स्टेटमेंट वाज गिवन बाय सच अ बिग जर्नल न्यूट्रिशनल जर्नल इन 2016 I was shocked when I saw this journal and then I talked to Dr Michael Greger about it and you know he laughed अब इस जर्नल के एंड में अगर जब आप ये जर्नल इंटरनेशनल जर्नल को पूरा स्टडी करते हैं और इस जर्नल के एंड में जाते हैं तो नीचे पढ़ते हैं कि एक्नोलिजमेंट्स तो यहां पे क्लियरली दिया है कि दिस स्टडी वाज फंडेड बाय ए टू मिल्क कंपनी माय गॉड इट इज अ बिगेस्ट फ्रॉड इन इंटरनेशनल मेडिकल जर्नल्स व्हिच इज फूलिंग पीपल द स्टडी वाज फंडेड बाय ए टू मिल्क कंपनी ऑथर आई मीन दिस लाइन इज इनफ टू टेल यू वन मोर इंटरनेशनल जर्नल मिल्क इंटॉलरेंस बीटा केसिन एंड लैक्टोज दिस जर्नल अगेन Published the data 
that A1 milk is very bad and A2 milk is very good for GIT physiology for lactose intolerance and they even told that a1 milk causes type 1 diabetes and A2 milk does not cause type 2 diabetes. Okay, you have you are the biggest journal in the world again nutrients 2015 September issue you are telling that A1 milk is bad but again uh, this is what 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 I request because I, I will really look deep into the studies. We always look deep into the studies and you know here again conflicts of interest always look at the bottom of the journal whether the where this study is funded by whom and here you see the author is Sonja Kulkujan and Sonja Kulkujan is an employee of the A2 milk company. My God, I'm making fool people, making fool out of people. I, how can this study be pure? How can this study be um, uh, so good? It is a pure fraud. Uh, now, uh, thing is, uh, in, I have proved it. Now we have, uh, all the Indians have some um, mythological connection to milk. And uh, our God, our Lord Krishna, uh, has uh, told milk to be very good. And because we, most of us are Hindu, and we, we all worship Krishna. And how I, I dig into it, the history, and how can Krishna be wrong? No, Krishna can never be wrong. He was the God, and uh, we worship him, and he was damn correct. What happened at the time of Mahabharata? There was an era uh, where there was a lot of poverty to be used. People uh, used to walk for kilometers. They have to uh, go into the sunshine. They have to uh, do big, big uh, battles, uh, big, big battles. So what was, they need, need a lot of energy. What they were doing, uh, what you need for that high amount of energy, you need very powerful things. And for that, people were killing animals. What Krishna saw that these cows and buffaloes, they are so strong animals. They go for hundreds of kilometers in the sunshine and they never get tired. And they bear quintals of uh, weight on their uh, backbone and they never get tired. So what Krishna suggested is to those people who, who at that time needed a lot of power, he suggested uh, to take milk of cow, uh, which was the right decision at that time amount at that, that point of time because people needed a lot of power they were uh, su su exposed to such a big sunlight and so there was no electricity no cartwheels so they were walking so krishna suggested uh, to uh, take the help of cow's milk but at the meantime krishna knew that they will exploit the cows so what he did he uh, called cow as gaumata he he told his cow is your mother so you should worship the mother and let the calf first drink whatever milk it can drink and whatever little milk is remaining that milk you take and what people did they followed Krishna because he was the god at that time and took little milk out of the cow and because their sunlight because milk contains a lot of calcium which uh, has to which can go into the bones even only when your exposure uh, to sunlight is very good so they were taking a little milk their uh, hard work was very high and they were worshipping cows like ma, like uh, mother, and this, uh, they started taking it and it helped them because the spirit was right. It is all about the spirit. Uh, if you worship somebody and the cow is happily giving you some milk, little milk, maybe one glass, two glass from one cow, so you can maybe little take it in those circumstances when you have to go out into the fields and do such a hard work. So that's what Krishna what happened in 1800 and in the, in, in the start of the 20th uh, century people started making it a business the, uh, they, the milk industry came and that time the expansion came the all the concept of Gaumata went off and um, these days uh, they are exploited to like anything uh, so uh, was one the hetero Krishna's wisdom hetero era no electrical resources to save Animal killing Krishna called for a little milk intake from the Gaumata and cow was worshipped at that time. First calf will drink, meaning people will whatever they will drink and they were able to digest it because of high light exposure. And now in this era where we live in our homes and this is our sunlight exposure is almost zero. So we cannot digest milk. So we have to change. You know, Krishna always uh, had the concept that he changes changed his words at any time. He was called as the Ranchod. Even if he wants to kill him, he will 
भाग भी जाते थे अपनी जगह से एंड सो इट इज अज विच इज वेरी क्लियर फ्रॉम कृष्णा दैट यू नीड यू हैव टू स्टॉप टेकिंग काउस मिल्क यू हैव टू टेक अ लॉट ऑफ दिस इज नाउ एंड ऑफ दोट्रो एरा वी आर नाउ इन न्यूट्रो एरा वेयर वी द लिव इन द होम्स एंड वी डोंट डू एनी हार्ड वर्क वी डोंट गो आउट इन टू द फील्ड एंड वी वाई शुड वी गो बिकॉज इफ वी आर लिविंग सच अ लेविश लाइफ बट वी हैव टू स्टॉप काउस मिल्क दिस इज द मैसेज Uh, for all those people who uh, uh, have a mythological connection uh, it is with the i think the message is very clear right uh, okay guys so now we are coming to the second type of food which is the food which is made with the intention of earning profit the artificial industrial preserved and the refined food about the food metabolism uh, there is a postal system in, in the human body support suppose you write a letter to dr pavan madhavan md medicine ravindra hospital panipat that letter will come back come come to dr pavan madhavan but suppose you write a letter called pavan panipat that letter may not reach to me mujhe wo letter nahi milegi but wo panipat mein circulate karti rahegi gol 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 aur kahin bhi jaake galat jagah pe it, it will land up in wrong place that letter may not Address is not very obvious. Natural food, which is in which the address uh, that this food where it it should go into the body, into the heart, into the muscles, into the bones. If the address written on the food is very proper and it is written by the God, that is nature, then that food will go at its exact place and give you uh, right kind of nutrition. But if you are taking artificial food in which there is no correct address written, it will create problems. Now what happens is these fresh fruits and raw vegetables. Uh, contains enzymes which have their genetic makeup. Genetic makeup means they have they have a destiny that you have to. So uh, this is a microscopic section of kiwi fruit which is showing that uh, this um, uh, uh, enzymes. So uh, what happens is if you look into this video, uh, you can see that. Uh, even the calcium which is there in the spinach this is a um, electron microscopic section of the spinach the calcium you can see it is live calcium in the spinach and this calcium will has a genetic code it has a correct address written on it it will go into your bones and make your bones more healthy but if you suppose what happens if you take uh, this banana and if you take this banana chips banana has a proper genetic code that calcium in the banana will go into your bones but here there is no genetic code it will not go into the bones it will keep circulating in the body in the wrong way suppose you are taking spinach and suppose you are taking calcium tablets what is the difference this calcium will go into your bones this calcium will not go into your bones but rather this calcium will go at wrong places like it may deposit it into your gall bladder where it will cause gall bladder stones it may deposit into your kidneys causing uh kidney stones it may deposit into your heart walls causing heart attacks but even then it taking a lot of calcium tablets your bones will still be osteoporotic okay so this is the importance of taking in haryana they published uh, a big thing uh, newspaper haryana mein zyada doodh aur andha dun calcium khane se ho rahi hai pathri bad raha hai stone belt ka daira this statement was published by the rohtak pj dr spanel means milk intake and uh, calcium tablets causes all the stones in haryana uh, uh, in uh, the john hopkins is one of the greatest institute in the world medical institute and it has concluded that calcium in the form if taking calcium in the form of supplements cal may raise the risk of plaque build up in arteries and heart damage although a diet high in calcium rich foods appears to be protective to jo bhi log calcium ki tablets kha rahe hain unki tarah unko main bada clear message dena chahta hu ki it is not good to take calcium tablets you may die of heart attack if you are taking lot of calcium tablets this is not me saying john hopkins is saying because that calcium is not going into, into the correct position there is no correct address written on this calcium but if you are taking a lot of spinach lot of almonds lot of uh, uh, oranges and uh, a fig then this calcium will go directly into your bones and your bones will be healthy now what happens is uh, if you are taking the natural food suppose you are taking jaggery jaggery is good if you are taking jaggery what happens there is a uh, high refined sugar uh, so th this jaggery contains uh, these small micro elements like chromium manganese cobalt zinc and magnesium and because of this micro nutrients jaggery it has been proved in international medical journals that jaggery has a साइटोप्रोटेक्टिव एंड एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट प्रॉपर्टीज मीन गुड के अंदर एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट प्रॉपर्टी होती है जो कि फ्रूट्स में होती है जो कि ये सारे जो माइक्रो न्यूट्रिय रिफाइंड शुगर में नहीं होते इस कारण से रिफाइंड शुगर हमेशा 
नुकसान पहुंचाएगी जबकि बट दिस द जैगरी विल डू गुड टू यू बिकॉज इट हैज कंटेन्स दो माइक्रो न्यूट्रिय दीज आर लाइक माइक्रो न्यूट्रिय विच आर एट द सर्फेस ऑफ द जैगरी वट हैपन्स इफ यू ईट दिस गुड दिस माइक्रो न्यूट्रिय विच ओवर एंसेस्टर्स वर टेकिंग फ्रॉम लॉन्ग लॉन्ग टाइम दीज आर रिकॉग्नाइज बाय ओवर gut bacteria wo our gut is called as uh, now they have labeled as uh, it the our gut is the second brain this is this gut has a brain they call it enteric plexus and it is a second brain why it is the second brain because it can think and it can decide what to what to uh, whom to talk and whom to talk because why this is brain and because this uh, what is not clear in a lot of माइक्रो न्यूट्रिय contains cesium manganese cobalt zinc and magnesium and uh, because these micro because of these micronutrients jaggery has a cytoprotective and antioxidant properties but these micronutrients are not available in the sugar that's why sugar is not good and you know these micronutrients are available on the surface of the jaggery and our gut आपका जो इंटेस्टीन्स है इट कंटेन्स अ लॉट ऑफ बैक्टीरिया एंड लॉट इट रिलीजेज अ लॉट ऑफ हार्मोन्स कॉल्ड एस इनक्रेटिन्स इनक्रेटिन्स और जो गट बैक्टीरिया है वो गुड़ को पहचानते हैं क्योंकि आप सदियों से आपके हमारे जो एंसेस्टर्स हैं दे वर टेकिंग अ लॉट ऑफ जैगरी एंड जैगरी कंटेन दो माइक्रो न्यूट्रिय दिस माइक्रो न्यूट्रिय आर रिकॉग्नाइज बाय दिस बैक्टीरिया सो वट हैपन्स Uh, uh, they have called now uh, a GIT system as the second brain, enteric plexus, because it can interact with the food. So suppose you are eating a natural food which contains micronutrients. So what happens is uh, the, the gut bacteria interacts with the natural enzymes. If you are eating a natural food like raw vegetables, raw fruits which contains some live enzymes, so this bacteria interact with. the live enzymes and delay the emptying and absorption which means if your sugar levels are very high so suppose your sugar levels are 400 and you are taking mango and mango contains enzymes enzymes so what happen this uh, our gut bacteria will interact with the enzymes of the mango and because both are friends they know each other the gut bacteria will tell the mango enzyme that already sugar is high in the body so you don't go inside and because both are friends and made by nature they comply with each other that's why some of my patients if i tell them to eat mangoes their sugar goes down but suppose you took some chocolate milk chocolate or some uh, artificial toffee or uh, candy what will happen it does not contain any enzymes so this candy will not listen to this bacteria and it will directly go into your blood and your sugars will rise also the why why this uh, git system is called as second brain because incretin it also secretes one hormone that's incretin incretin is a hormone which then uh, in the incretin hormone ka function hota hai ki jaisi food inside it comes it signals the brain and the pancreas to release insulin so what happens uh, uh, when this incretin will work suppose you are eating mango immediately incretin will recognize oh I I know this from thousands of years because it has live enzymes and it has micronutrients. Jaggery has got my micronutrients, so it will recognize this food and it will signal the pancreas that secrete insulin. But if you are taking a candy or some ja or some artificial food like chocolates or some pizza, there is no uh, uh, this incretin hormone will not recognize them. So it will not signal to the brain to secrete ghrelin. it will not signal signal to the pancreas to secrete insulin so that's why if insulin is not secreted means your sugar will rise if you eat a candy or a chocolate but your sugar will not rise if you eat banana or mango because already incretin hormone will release will signal the pancreas to release insulin also uh, it will signal the brain uh, after recognizing the mango that uh, uh, please release ghrelin ghrelin is a uh, is a hormone which stop which uh, decreases our appetite ki bhook lagna 
उतना कम कर देगा सो दैट नेचुरल मैकेनिज्म आर देयर एंड इफ यू आर ईटिंग अ नेचुरल फूड योर शुगर्स आर विल नॉट राइज व्हाट इज दिस वीआईपी एंड डीआईपी वीआईपी इज दीज आर अ टाइप ऑफ फूड लाइक इफ यू ऑल द आर्टिफिशियल फूड्स लाइक कैंडीज chocolates pizza uh, all these are very important so they they will they have no disease they are the already uh, sugar levels are high so uh, uh, and the intestine is giving the red signal that please put uh, to the food that please don't go inside but the vip people these will listen to you ye seedha andar chale jayenge aur aapki sugar badhegi padegi agar aap खाना खा रहे हैं बट इफ यूर एन इंटेलिजेंटन टू यू इफ यूर शुगर लेवल स्टॉप देयर फॉर सम टाइम एंड दे विल नॉट गो इन साइड अंटिल अनलेस यूर शुगर आर हाई शुगर आर लो सो दिस इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ दिस इज होल फूड एंड दिस इज रिफाइंड फूड आर्टिफिशियल फूड सो दिस इज दिफरेंस इज सीड्स एंड नट्स About seeds and nuts. Seeds and nuts contains only uh, contain eighty percent fiber. You know, in के अंदर fiber बहुत सारा जो होता है in seeds and nuts के अंदर eighty percent fiber होता है. Oil की सिर्फ एक ही drop ही होती है. So what happens uh, in if you take one by four teaspoon full of badam rogan, it अगर आप hundred uh, almonds लें और उनको if you grind them in uh, in a grinder. Uh, how much oil you will get is from 100 almonds you will get only 1 by 4 teaspoon full and if you are taking one karchi of oil in your sabji you are putting you are taking around 1000 almonds if you are putting one teaspoon full you are getting 400 almonds so at pain comes to me many times doctor i ate only two chapatis only but why my sugar is 400 it is not clear this is the reason you can eat as many as nuts you want but never take any oil all oils are bad why because there is no river there is no well where there is any oil even nature has not made any mustard oil nature has not made any olive oil no nothing it has made so if you want to take natural fat you take nuts as much as you want uh, your sugars will not increase why because there is a lot of fiber over there and this fiber contains enzymes so if you are taking 200 almonds also this fiber has got enzymes so it will interact with what it will interact with the gut flora and this fiber will not allow this oil to go inside cholesterol but if you are taking this oil directly then it is a vip food it will raise your cholesterol so it is very clear the studies have proved that nut consumption is good for the health and diabetes jama 2002 uh, it they have proved that if you are eating a lot of nuts you will not never die of heart attack because all the nuts including cashews almonds uh, raisins all of them contain a lot of magnesium and magnesium is the best medicine which is given to a heart attack patient who is dying from heart attack now Uh, all the, these uh, preserved foods contains a lot of chemicals there these things are written if you go and in, check on the internet and cross check this all these preservatives and chemicals uh, they lead to cancers so these preserved foods are always has preservatives why because the profit spirit they the spirit of keeping the food as such kabhi to unki expiry jo hai 6 6 mahine ki hoti hai now what happens all vegetables oils are unhealthy processed by companies for profit no oil grows in the nature if you dig uh, this slide i will skip uh, uh, and and remember some people are very fond of taking uh, vitamin tablets and cochrane database has proved that antioxidant supplements for prevention of mortality but the what is the report uh, cochrane says scientific data says we found no evidence that to support antioxidant tablets are good rather vitamin a and vitamin c agar aap supplement karte hain there are more chances that you will die and no supplement agar aap no koi bhi unnatural vitamin le rahe hain to aapko chances hai ki aap zyada bimar hoenge aur zyada deaths ke chances hai ye cochrane ne prove kar diya but there are two exceptions one is vitamin b12 that is cyanocobalamin agar vitamin b12 vegans ko thoda thoda lena hai uska reason main bataunga baad mein uh, but uh, but which vitamin b12 you should take in the market is full of methyl cobalamin it is again a commercial exploitation by pharmaceutical companies you should always take cyanocobalamin cyanocobalamin is a very cheap uh, neurobion 4 tablet uh, which is 1 uh, rupee 50 paisa tablet other than methyl cobalamin every tablet is 10 to 15 rupees which is very costly and uh, the studies are not done on methyl cobalamin there is no single data on methyl cobalamin all the data is for cyanocobalamin 
plus you should go into the sun and if you're not going into the sun you take vitamin d little that do, the recommendation i will give you but accept that no other supplement or antioxidants should be taken you should rather go for high intake of fruits and vegetables the food that grows in the natural naturally under god's spirit they have proved that a uh, heavy plant based diet uh, results suggest that the diet high intake of vegetables and fruits and lower in high glycemic index food may lower the risk of developing more aggressive prostate cancer if you are eating a lot of fruits which is growing naturally naturally in the nature the chances of you developing uh, any kind of cancer are very less raw food number of cylinders used is directly proportional to the risk of developing diabetes eat natural raw foods okay Many journals have proved that the more you cook the food, the more you, the more you, your sugar levels will go. The less you cook, the less will be your sugar level because raw food glycemic index is very less. International table of glycemic index, a very big table, is where all the foods have glycemic index. They have said that the glycemic index of the fresh and raw fruits and vegetables are much lower than any kind of food. वर्ल्ड वार जब हुआ वर्ल्ड वार वन और टू में डेनमार्क इंग्लैंड और जर्मनी में जिस व्हेन द सप्लाई ऑफ ऑल द रिफाइंड फूड्स वर कट ऑफ द रेट ऑफ डायबिटीज एंड हार्ट डिजीज रिड्यूस टू फिफ्टी परसेंट बट जैसे ही वर्ल्ड वार खत्म हुआ व्हेन द वर्ल्ड वार वॉज स्टॉप एंड द सप्लाई ऑफ द रिफाइंड फूड अगेन स्टार्टेड इन टू दिस कंट्रीज द इनिशियल हाई ऑफ द डेथ रेट ऑफ द डायबिटीज एंड हार्ट डिजीज केम बैक विच मीन्स ड्यूरिंग द वर्ल्ड वार Uh, people were dying because of uh, death in the war but there were very less disease because there was no refined food in these countries but when the war was over all the refined food started coming back and death rate due to diabetes and heart disease again started rising high louis signaro is a famous scientist who was given nobel prize for because he discovered Signal properties of nitrous oxide. In 1998, he was given Nobel Prize because he proved that if you take a lot of green green vegetables, you which has a lot of nitrous oxide, it it has a vasodilatory properties that if you are you are uh, arteries are blocked and if you start taking green greens, you will develop collaterals naturally. You will develop collaterals naturally. So this was proved by Louis Signaro, and uh, he is a famous scientist. And he, these are his books: No More Heart Disease and Health Is Well. These books should be read by you. Uh, i recommend to all my heart patient this recipe this is my uh, recipe of green garden delight if somebody has been advised bypass or has been advised to go for angiography uh, or angioplasty i always take a chance uh, if he is not critically ill i always suggest them to wait for 10 to 15 days and go for this green chutney of spinach this chutney you can uh, later on uh, take the recipe from rupa ji uh, if you give this chutney uh, of 100 grams daily to the patient and then again do the angiography uh 70 to 80 percent patients will require it is happening to me uh model of lifestyle diseases there are four types of diseases cancer hypertension and heart disease diabetes and autoimmune disease diabetes reversal program agar healthy bande mein dekhe to wo khana kha raha hai glucose ja raha hai uske andar the glucose is going into the blood vessels and pancreas is secreting insulin so all the uh, glucose which is uh, in the blood vessels is taken into the tissues and the sugar levels are normal what happens in type 1 diabetes people are eating food but there is a pancreas is not there there is no insulin so this glucose is not going into the tissues and your blood levels are high but what what is happening in type 2 diabetes mellitus the person is eating food and there is a lot of insulin which is produced by the pancreas but even then this insulin is not able to take all the glucose into the tissues which means which means there is something wrong somewhere what is wrong See, it is strange in type two diabetes. Insulin is there, glucose is there, but even then, this glucose cannot go into the tissues. Where is the problem? What has changed? Receptors are not working, membranes are not working, or our organs are not working. Liver is not working, but rather, I can say, it is the what is wrong is food taking wrong glucose. This glucose cannot enter the body. If you are eating natural food. type of diabetes in 100% of the cases reverses this here the, there is a problem pancreas is damaged this is normal person and here the problem is not in the body problem is here why why i say because agar aap dekhe to ye type 2 diabetes ka patient hai 
और ये एक टाइप ट्यूबर क्लोसिस का पेशेंट है सी इफ एनीबडीज इल ही विल बी वेरी थिन हिज फेस विल बी वेरी डार्क ब्लैक एंड ही विल नॉट बी हैविंग फूड बट इफ यू सी ऑल द डायबिटिक पेशेंट्स दे आर वेरी स्माइलिंग एंड हैप्पी फैटी फैटी पीपल हु ईट अ लॉट ऑफ फूड व्हिच मींस देयर इज नो प्रॉब्लम इन देयर बॉडी देयर इज नो प्रॉब्लम इन देयर बॉडी ऑल द प्रॉब्लम इज देयर इन द फूड दैट्स व्हाई टाइप 2 डायबिटीज मेलिटस इज 100% reversible type 2 diabetes patients look so beautiful no illness in there in the body but their food is ill jaise jaise logo ko india mein diabetes badhti ja rahe hain see this is with time 1995 se 2025 mein teen deshon three, three countries are there one is brazil other is china and third is india with time india is uh, diabetes ka prevalence jo hai it is going like this and as the people in of india are getting diabetes US is getting more and more rich i don't know why there is a relation behavior the diabetes is going up and US is becoming rich dollar is rising rupee is getting down which means all the medication which you buy is actually from the western system of US and it is a marketing strategy of uh, american diabetes association that they have reduced the fasting criteria of blood sugar from 140 to 100 before in 1997 if the sugar level is more than 140 you will be diabetic but now if your sugar level is more than 100 you they call you diabetic because this because of this strategy this is happening so what i what is my recommendation is keep the target of fasting blood sugar less than 140 and random blood sugar less than 200 important is how you feel if there are no symptoms no weakness then it is just fine hypertension and heart disease what is blood pressure blood pressure is the measurement of force applied to the artery walls the force with which the blood flows in your arteries is blood pressure worldwide 7.5 million deaths per year due to high bp 12.8% of all deaths cardiovascular disease kills one in every four matlab agar 100 log marte hain to 24 log to 24 jo people hain wo cardiovascular disease se marte hain cholesterol deposit why what is this bp blood pressure is actually a defense of the body what is happening you are eating a lot of cholesterol lot of fat so your arteries are getting clogged with the cholesterol so what is happening because of this cholesterol clogging your arteries are getting blocked so your body does not want you to die so what is happening it is increasing the pressure in the arteries so that your arteries don't get clogged so because of this blood pressure in, is increasing so that your arteries do not clog and you don't die of blockages so to stop that blockages body is raising the pressure so actually it is high bp is just a defense to prevent artery blockage so instead of taking tablets if you start eating zero oil diet zero oil zero milk diet if this blockages get clear your arteries become normal your bp will go down remember one thing this is same thing happens in the coronary arteries of the heart your cholesterol is depositing that's why if the blockage happens you will die of heart attack but if you start eating normal no, all food plant based diet your blockages will get clear and your body is normal atherosclerosis begins in the childhood and progress during adolescence and young adulthood almost all the persons have aortic fatty streaks by the age of 10 the, by the age of 10 bachpan nahi uh, 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 from childhood only indian mother starts feeding their child with milk and what happens by the age of 10 there are already fatty streaks by the age of 20 years they develop develop fibrous plaques and by the age of 40 years there is calcification and complication in these plaques because of which heart attack happens stroke happens gangrenes of the foot happen and aneurysms in the arteries happen so it is not a one day game it is a 40 years game when you start developing 30 uh, your sins of um, your sins of your parents for past 30 years cause heart attack in you blood is remember one thing this is a river of ganga if you it is flowing at such a good speed and because uh, if you even put 10 kg of soil here even then it will dissolve all this soil and it will keep flowing but if you start putting 10 kg soil daily here even this river of gangs will so our blood is like river of ganga it is flowing at a very good rate if you stop the soil dirt into it it will remove all the cholesterol from your arteries and it will, because it is purified form of a river made by god blood so i request to all of you to just stop putting wrong material into your mouth so that your arteries and blood have a self a uh, self mechanism of cleaning so it will clean on its own but you stop putting bad thing into your mouth the history of mankind 50000 years of human evolution for the first 43000 years 
people were eating high potassium diet for last 7000 years people are eating high sodium diet in the first 43000 years there were no disease in the society there were no dairy products there was no medicine culture in the last 7000 years when milk was introduced and people started taking salt all the disease have come aapko pata if for 7000 years before uh, there was no need for developing uh, of any pathy means ayurveda is only 1000 years old before that before 7000 years there was no need of any ayurveda because people were eating whole food plant based diet which was high in potassium there was no disease there was no need of any ayurveda yunani siddha or any yoga or any uh, uh, kind of acupuncture because they felt the need of developing a pathy when disease came into the society which came just 7000 years after the introduction of salt and cow's milk uh, ayurveda is only 10 1000 years old even acupuncture is only 2500 years old and if you think yoga yoga is only 5000 years old which means for in 50000 years history for first 43000 years when we are eating diet high in potassium that is natural diet there were no disease in the society for millions of years there is still mammals including primates ate very small amounts of salt as plants contain only trace amounts powerful mechanisms for conserving salt without our bodies were developed the addition of salt to the food began 5000 to 10000 years ago and then the problem of getting rid of the excess was produced humans are genetically programmed to eat about 1 gram of salt daily not the 10 we now average daily matlab kahne ka yahan pe hai ki abhi time short ho raha hai we have to go fast i will just sum it up ki we are taking a lot of salt before we were taking very less salt so uh, uh, the recommendation is uh, for as per uh, the 3000 to 4500 mg of salt which we daily eat in india evidence suggests that normal salt intake for most of the human evolution was about 1/10th of that actually so you should eat very less salt because salt is the only condiment which is not grown by the plants these are the blue zones in the world where there is no heart disease which is one in hunza here people live 140 years and they eat no salt the haranuma indians have got no debt from heart disease world population mein heart disease jahan jahan pe potassium natural food khaya ja raha hai wahan wahan pe uh, heart disease nahi hai aur where they are eating uh, less potassium that is less natural food heart disease is more there low dietary potassium now what is the recipe for protection from heart attack heart disease brain stroke and hypertension very high very very high potassium diet and very very low sodium diet potassium factor is always a constant if you are eating a lot of fruits your sodium will automatically go down if you are eating a lot of processed food processed food you remember agar aap dekhe uh, biscuit mein remember biscuit the expiry date is for 6 months why because they they add a lot of sodium they add a lot of sodium in the biscuits 100 grams of biscuit contains 450 mg of sodium but tomato contains 100 grams of tomato only 3 mg of sodium even if you bring a bread in your this thing bread agar aap dekhe it lasts for 5 days which means if you carefully read the label bread also 100 grams of bread also contains 400 mg of sodium so all your duff nuts muffins all of them contain sodium if you eat tomatoes cucumber lettuce apple banana and oranges there is no sodium at all in them which means if you start eating natural and not refined food you will never develop blood pressure to all my patients who come to me i put them on a natural diet and i have a 90 95% cure rate so all my patient bp go down within 10 days on normal diet always exercise because it is very essential alcohol is very bad for high bp smoking is also uh, proven to be cause more heart attacks uh, there is a special diet developed by dr walter kempner i use this diet what happens if your bp is more than 180 i put the patients on boiled rice and fruits if you are if, if they, those patients take only boiled rice which is without any salt and they eat only fruits and they only drink water they do it for two months and what happens even if their bp is more than 200 it goes down within are uh, 10 to 15 days and dr walter kapna proved this thing uh, he put uh, around 20000 patients on a rice diet and they saw it for 5 years that their bp was 200 and at that time in 1943 there were no bp medicine and agar if somebody's bp is more than 200 he will die he will label you will die in 4 days 
But once he started Dr. Walter Kempner's diet, his BP came down in, this is the rice diet started at 220 BP, rice diet started and see in five years his BP was absolutely normal. Even diastolic BP, when this rice diet was started, it came back to normal. So all the patients uh, who have a very high BP should be put on this rice diet. Dr. Caldwell Esselstein is world known uh, uh, cardiologist. He has proved that if, if you give six weeks of whole food plant-based diet, your arteries will become clear. See, this artery was blocked here, thin, thin artery. And people were put on zero oil diet and their coronary arteries became thick. Their see, flow is very good. So Walter Kempner has proved it. Uh, even uh, Dr. Dean Ornish also proved uh, in, uh, he did 1000 patients angiography, he put them or uh, show the blockages in them, they, he put them on the diet, uh, which is whole food plant based diet, and he proved that their blockages got cleared in six weeks. Ecosprin is the backbone, backbone of modern medicine, approximately 50 million people take aspirin on a daily basis to treat or prevent cardiovascular disease, but it is not needed, you should not take aspirin, it has a lot of GIT side effects. Uh, this ecosprin contains salicylic acid and this salicylic acid is always present in all the fruits and vegetables and herbs and spices contain them in highest concentrations. Tomato has got a lot of ecosprin effect. If you are taking a tomato, no matter in the form of um, uh, boiled tomato or cooked tomato or raw tomato, it has got antiplatelet effects. It is proven in effect of tomato, uh, antiplatelet effect is proven in international journals. Even garlic, if you take raw garlic daily, it has got such a potent aspirin effect that if you go to a Royal College of Surgeons, they will ask you before doing surgery, suppose you want to do a surgery in England and you to go to Royal College of Surgeons, they will ask you, have you taken garlic in past seven days? If you have taken garlic in five, seven days, they will not do your surgery because of the risk of bleeding, which means garlic has got a lot of uh, antiplatelet effects. Uh, so in this way, uh, if you are taking this diet, uh, hypertension is fully reversible about cancer. People think, what is cancer? Cancer is, remember, what is happening in cancer is, uh, th this is the liver, it wants, the, there are thousands of cells here, they want to live. Because they want to live, uh, they get their blood supply from the vessels all the blood supply from the vessels. And because they get all the blood supply from the vessels, if you start eating cholesterol full of fat diet, these vessels will get blocked. And these starts, cells will start dying. If these cells starts dying, what happened? Because you are eating cholesterol full diet, vessels got blocked and this cell is dying now. And it wants to live. So if it has to live, what it should do, it, should do, it will increase its size. It will increase its size and it will start taking food from other vessels. This is called as tumor in the medical science. And what doctor will say, remove the tumor. Rather, what I suggest, you take a zero oil diet and whole food plant-based diet. This blockages start clearing and this star cell, these cells start getting food from these vessels. And the tumor will regress. And it has happened to many of my patients. Now, what happens? You, the patient does not agree and it keeps taking this wrong diet. And even now, this vessel was blocked. Now, these vessels also slowly, slowly with wrong food starts blocked, starts getting blocked. Now, what is what will happen? This cell will start dying. What rather than dying, it will what, what it will do? It will start multiplying. It will start multiplying, and it will send its arms to other organs, far off organs. Like it will send its arms to brain, to lungs, to our arms it will send like this arms it will spread it arms and send so it will start taking food from other organs because it has to live and what medical science will say that you uh, you are you have a cancer metastasis so they will put radiation here in the brain they will put radiation in the lungs they will put radiation to kill these arms but if you are killing these arms and cell wants to live it will send more arms so rather than doing uh, any chemotherapy or radiotherapy if you start eating zero oil milk free diet, whole food plant based diet, your blockages will get clear and this cell will start getting food from its vessels from which it was destined to. So it will take its arms back, arms back. So your metastasis will resolve. This is what happens to most of our patients. This is an interview from Sharon by Dr. Nandita Shah where one lady has cleared her breast cancer just with whole food plant based diet, but we are very short of time. The best anti-cancer fruit in the world is lemon and lemon and cranberry. These uh, fruits are well proven to kill any kind of cancer cells. Uh, now, 
I think I'm uh, just conveyed the message, and we are very short of time. Let's take the questions now. Okay. The, there are a lot of questions. Uh, yes. Yes. We we'll start the question number one. What if we consume oil in very low quantities, huh. by cooking using significantly very less oil? Do you remember? Always remember, poison even if taken in for a single drop is a poison. No matter if you take a full category of poison or you take a drop, poison is a poison. It is an unnatural food. And uh, uh, the, the, it, remember, if you go uh, that uh, food which is cooked without oil is actually very tasty. It is just a psych. You have to develop the psych. If you if you start start cooking. Uh, uh, this thing, uh, food uh, without oil, slowly, slowly, you will feel that your gut feels better. And on the internet, there are a lot of videos available these days for oil-free cooking, which you can ask Rupa ji or others. But oil sh should be, if you want to live long, if you want yourself to be diabetes-free, cancer-free, and uh, heart attack-free, your oil should be absolutely zero. You should take only oils from the natural foods like nuts. Okay. Um, how can we address uh, uh, famine conditions if we don't use preservatives? Yes, famine conditions definitely. The concept of uh, uh, preservatives came only when there were famines and there were droughts. But remember these days, there are no droughts. Yes, but if at some time, point of time, if you are on a world tour, you are going in the aeroplane for long, long hours and you need to live, that time, yes, for the living, you should use. But that is just for 1% of the times. Just for 1% of the times. Otherwise, you don't need. Otherwise, you don't need any kind of preserved food most of the times. How is uh, fresh food compared with frozen food? Frozen food, yes, it is not bad because they uh, they have bring brought the energy of coldness into the food and all the enzymes have been frozen now but they will become again active after they are taken out from the frozen uh, from the refrigerator so it is not bad to have frozen food frozen food is always much better than preserved food but it should be absolutely chemical free like blueberries or acai berries you get frozen they are actually not bad but yes if you are have advantage of eating fresh then there is no match for that Are you a raw vegan, Dr. Pawan? No, I am not a raw vegan and I don't advocate raw vegan. In the international medical journals, it is very clearly proven that raw, raw diet is not good, not any good than a preserved, preservative diet. Means they have published data that raw, raw vegan diet is not at all compatible with long life. It is a myth because inter I follow international medical journals and I advocate you eat a lot of raw you eat salads you eat uh, uh, juicy fruits you eat juices to drink juices and eat a lot of raw but at the same time it is proven in international medical journals that uh, phytochemicals present in the grains are actually very good for heart disease for cancers for diabetes so i say eat a lot of raw and eat a lot of chapatis, eat a lot of rice because remember bhagwan ne hame roti aur chawal khane ke liye hi banaya hai and we just love it Abhi aap roti band kar ke dekho char din ke liye. It's a bad feeling. And why you want uh, like to live like this? Uh, roti and chawal are good. Eat a lot of... Uh, I tell all my patients, Pai paanche roti se kam mat khana. Agar khane baad jau. But remember at the same time, eat a lot of raw. Okay, wonderful. How is uh, processed sugar is connected with diabetes? Processed sugar, I told you always it is connected with diabetes because there are no enzymes, there are no micronutrients which are uh, present in the sugar. So what happens when you are taking raw sugar uh, with this refined sugar, it will not check. If suppose you are taking a lot of mangoes, it contains a lot of enzymes, it goes into your gut, it interacts with the gut bacteria. When it interacts with the gut bacteria, it will check what is the sugar. gut bacteria will tell your body sugar is 400 it will tell the mango enzyme please don't go inside because they are friends mm -hmm. so mangoes will not cause your sugars to go high but because they are dip dis disciplined and intelligent mangoes but your sugar is vip it will not listen to the bacteria because it has no enzymes or living thing in it it has only one job no matter your sugar is 400 500 it will go directly inside your blood okay 
um, can type 1 diabetes be reversed? Do you know of any person who has reversed it? Type 1 diabetes is always reversible, not curable. Remember, it is not curable because already pancreas is destroyed. So in all the patients, uh, I have more than 50 to 60 patients of type 1 diabetes and all of them diabetes has reversed. Reversed means they were taking 60 to 70 units of insulin and all of them have come to 20 to 15 units of insulin. Their insulin sensitivity has gone high. The requirement of insulin has gone down. But yes, in my uh, opinion, I have only one patient from London, Hayan Azizi who has taken our residential tour and he was uh, uh, cured of diabetes because he came to me within 15 days he was diagnosed of type 1 diabetes and probably uh, he was in his uh, little bit of uh, mass was remaining but otherwise type 1 diabetes is never fully curable you have to take insulin doctor by the time the first diagnosis is done of type 1 diabetes quite a major chunk of pancreatic cells already destroyed eh? yeah correct correct yeah so uh, he's asking my granddaughter six years is type 1 diabetic since last month she's on plant-based diet and uh, there's hmm. no need of any insulin since last nine months but her weight is increasing yes. but very very slowly how to increase her weight and height hmm. increase the weight and height see if you want to increase the weight give a lot of nuts Nuts are very good. Uh, they are natural fat and uh, they are very good to increase uh, uh, height and weight both. Uh, uh, then uh, I think uh, keep continuing whole food plant based diet but you should be under the guidance of right doctor. Because uh, many of uh, the people uh, come in connection with some nutritionist who is uh, on a raw vegan uh, follower or uh, uh, follower of this uh, vegan diet and he says that your insulin will be stopped and uh, you your sugar will reverse it is not good you should be under the guidance of a proper uh, doctor who, who advocates uh, whole food plant-based diet and uh, I in my opinion uh, I rather prefer uh, 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 to give insulin to type 1 diabetes rather even if their sugars are normal even then I give even 0.5 units of insulin I give deliberately because I have found that the patients in whom I stopped the insulin, once they were put on whole food plant-based diet, the insulin requirement dramatically goes down and in some people, uh, their sugar becomes totally normal. Uh, but even then, in my opinion, I prefer little insulin because uh, of autoimmunity uh, effects. It helps in long term because uh, it helps in preserving the pancreas. So in time, if you are diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, uh, maybe you can contact, because I love to help type 1 diabetes. It is my personal agenda. For anybody who is type 1 diabetes, my free service to all of you, anytime call me. My number is 83968-0016. It will be posted by Rupaji later on. Anybody, anytime, I am always available for type 1 diabetes because I am really concerned about them. They need a lot of help and they, most of them are misguided. Most of them are misguided by uh, uh, many nutritionists, many uh, uh, many kind of people. You, anytime you call me, I am there for you. Okay, wonderful doctor. I will share it in the chat box. Just yeah. in a while. Uh, there's one more question. If tobacco industry have to print statutory warning, why is it? Why is this not done for dairy industry? What? Repeat the question. I'll repeat it. If tobacco industry have to print a statutory warning, you know how we say tobacco is injurious to health and that kind of yes, thing. Yes, yes. Why is this not done with dairy industry? It is a, it is a, see, uh, uh, there is all, this is all where the money game is involved. Uh, even the tobacco industry, they started uh, putting the label that tobacco is bad very recently, around maybe 10 years back. Before that, it was not written on any place that tobacco is bad. And maybe in uh, future when the veganism grows, this warning may come. But yes, it is already I have proved you. Remember in your TV, TV ke andar kabhi bhi ye ad nahi aata hai ki apple khaiye. Eat apple, it is good for you. Eat orange, it is good for you. Never this. The ad comes is Coca-Cola is damn good. Pepsi is very good. These kinds of ad comes. So remember all 90% of the literature is hidden even from the doctors and the patients because if the truth comes, uh, the billion dollar industry, milk industry, uh, there will be a huge losses. So it's all money game everywhere. Mm.
there are some more questions here on the facebook also yes uh, there's uh, seema nayak who is asking that she is confused about which vitamin b12 to take vitamin b12 always remember i am telling you very clearly you should take cyanocobalamin what is the dose uh, there are no international studies for methyl cobalamin 90% of the people are saying methyl cobalamin is bad it is all pharmaceutical influence uh, because what is there uh, the cyanocobalamin comes under dpco aap cyanocobalamin ka tablet mehanga karke nahi bech sakte so uh, uh, that's what it is pharmaceutical influence you should take 250 micrograms of cyanocobalamin tablets daily or 1000 micrograms of cyanocobalamin tablets twice a week always take cyanocobalamin the cheapest tablet is neurobion fort 50 paisa tablet available in the market everywhere okay wonderful there are also more questions here on the chat screen i was yeah. just thinking if we can uh, stop sharing the powerpoint since it's not required yeah and so that everybody can see you yes okay um there is a swati sahu asking you are talking about natural food but we all know that natural foods contain high amount of pesticides what are the options of removing pesticides yes always remember it is very easy uh, this is a very good question because see there is a concept of organic uh, food coming these days costly organic food uh, i tell you uh, in the international medical journals there is no study which has proved that uh, uh, organic food is uh, has has advantages over pesticide full food because the normal food what you get is actually uh, there are there are, there are a lot of pesticides and just yes, pesticides are bad we all know because of their non biodegradability and uh, uh, malfun they cause a lot of uh, toxic effects on the body but uh, studies have not proved uh, that organic food is any better than normal food uh but still there is a concern how to remove uh, the pesticides yes it's very easy see if you have a uh, vinegar at your home vinegar uh, if you uh, put uh, one bottle of vinegar into your bucket and wash it uh, and put your vegetables in the vinegar for 5 minutes and remove it and then wash those vegetables 100% of the pesticide goes off but this is very very tough it is not possible for everybody to do it now what is the best way to remove pesticides okay it's very easy take half bucket of water take two to three pinches of salt put that salt into your bucket water and uh, dissolve it this salt properly into your water into your bucket and then put your all the fruits and vegetables into that bucket just for 20 minutes and then remove and uh, remove that water and again wash those vegetables and fruits with normal water and you will remove 99.9% of the pesticides very easy Dr. Pawan, can we switch off your PowerPoint and stop this share? Okay. Yeah. One yes. Uh, I will now read some more questions. Uh, is um, yeah. Neurobion Forte vegan? Like Neurobion Forte is vegan. Yes, hundred percent. Oh wow! Wonderful. Hmm. Then uh, can yes. you? Yes. Uh -huh. It's gone. list of food items to eat for high cholesterol any vegan hello food? yeah can you hear me can you yeah. hear me yeah yes 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 yeah so someone has this high cholesterol problem and is asking what food items should be eaten for someone who is suffering from high cholesterol see if your cholesterol levels are high it is very easy to decrease the cholesterol now international medical journals have proved that's the best medicine to if you want to really decrease your cholesterol go oil free zero oil stop all the milk okay no artificial oils take four brazil nuts in one month just four brazil nuts is an imported dry fruit which is available on amazon it is for 600 rupees it is uh, uh, 200 200 grams and just take four brazil nuts in one month and it is more potent than your one month intake of atorvastatin the second is take a uh, take one teaspoonful of uh, alsi the flax seeds daily and they uh, they will improve your cholesterol uh, take uh, one teaspoonful of amla powder amla powder is more potent potent than uh, atorvastatin or rosuvastatin and uh, i think uh, 
it will do it. Uh, bra- uh, in my all my patients, I just give them Brazil nuts. I give them one teaspoonful of flax seeds, and I give them amla powder. Uh, and I wanted to share actually the, the time given to me was very very less. Otherwise, I could have shown you international medical journals have proven that just intake of four Brazil nuts in one month. is more potent than one month of 20 mg of atorvastatin and that if uh, those studies when i will show you uh, because i have recently uh, taken a talk in hyderabad uh, on god's pharmacy uh, where i proved it that uh, natural food uh, with natural food you can actually cure your high cholesterol level wow wonderful doctor there are some nice comments on facebook saying Uh, amazing information good information Still, i was not able to share all the time was very less kajal yeah. shah is saying other, other, others were given 2 hours i was given 1 and 1/2 hour but okay. uh, we can do in future many more yeah, webinars definitely. And, uh, definitely. Definitely. Um, questions so questions. there are many more questions let me tell you yeah uh, so this was about the cholesterol they are asking any vegan book do you recommend uh vegan book yes many books uh, you i recommend all of you just one book uh, just read please one book how not to die from dr michael greger just read oh, this book and wow. it's wow wonderful how not to die yes wow. i haven't read that i would like to read it it is damn good how not to die okay i'll order it A roti shouldn't be wheat and rice white or brown मतलब गाँव की चपाती खानी है या नहीं खानी है और राइस कैसे होने चाहिए ब्राउन होने चाहिए वीट इज नॉट बैड वीट इज ऑलवेज गुड Uh, there are no proven studies that except for the 1% percent of the population who have celiac disease and remaining 3% percent of the people who have non celiac gluten hypersensitivity if Uh, which means out of hundred people, four have a uh, problem to wheat. And why that problem to wheat has come? Because remember, seven types of grain are eaten. Out of that seven types of grain, more most used grain is wheat. And because of its uh, uh, overuse, they have uh, uh, made it uh, mutated. They have done the mutation with the genes of the wheat. Now earlier wheat used to contain very less amount of gluten, which was there in 1800s. But because of its, uh, it was very uh, susceptible to uh, this uh, uh, pesticide attack. Uh, what scientists did, they uh, modified it. Uh, so it contains a little more gluten. That's why this problem of uh, gluten hypersensitivity has come. And uh, for some people, that's why industry has again taken up that issue and making it a uh, agenda that gluten hypersensitivity is there. Gluten problems are there. Gluten is causing thyroid disease. Gluten is causing Alzheimer's disease. Again, all all this it is propaganda. See, one percent of the population who has celiac disease and remaining three percent of the people who have non-gluten hypersensitivity, which should be documented. uh in 97% of the people wheat is very good and you eat a lot of wheat what i what what is my recommendation is see uh, how to how to escape gluten hypersensitivity see remember if you are very very sensitive to gluten you you have t- taken one ch- one one small piece of chapati and you feel very bad after that go for endoscopy Take your biopsy test done. It should document that you have celiac disease. If you have celiac disease, don't take. Otherwise, what you do, if you think that you develop some gas or bloating after eating chapati, what you do, you make a multi, take a multigrain atta, which should contain all the seven grains like ragi, jo, uh, all all ragi, wheat, uh, sorry, uh, corns and uh, uh, soya and all these seven grains out of which wheat should be this much. so you will not develop any bloating you will not because the concept of gluten hypersensitivity is only come from the fact that now the gluten uh, the percentage of gluten is more in the wheat that's why you are developing celiac disease more and uh, gluten bloating more so how to reduce that gluten content just simply just simply make multigrain atta your gluten uh, wheat content is low now so you will not develop any gas you will not develop any bloating but wheat is good wheat is very good yeah what a relief thank about you about rice about rice yes uh, remember brown rice is very good brown rice is very good because remember brown rice contains a covering of husk which contains all the multivitamins and if you wash this rice if you remove the mand from that rice also 
uh, vitamin B complex will not be lost. But what happens in white rice, they have removed all the husk already. And because this husk is removed, there are no vitamins in the vitamin uh, in the white rice. What industry do? They have orders from the government that vitamin B complex separate should be put on the white rice. So all the white rice are separate with vitamin B complex. So if you wash this rice and you cook this rice and remove the mand from that rice, the, the extra water, all the vitamin B complex will be lost. So um, it is not bad to take white rice because it is very tasty. But uh, it has no match for brown rice. Okay, wonderful. Um, they're saying, uh, Dr. B.M. Hegre says that roti or chapati is associated with the risk of diabetes as it contains gluten. Please verify. Yes, I, will sh uh, uh, I have uh, one slide actually in my PowerPoint where it is proven in international medical journals. Uh, uh, let me show that slide to you uh, so that it becomes you very clear. Yeah, you have to share the screen again. Yes, I, 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 is it clear now? Yes, yes, but you'll have to share the screen again. Screen, I have shared now. Okay, your PowerPoint. Yes, it is not coming now. No, we can't see. Wait, wait a minute, let me see. No, we can, cannot see your PowerPoint. You'll have to share, share your desktop. Yeah, now we can see. Yeah, you want to show the slide uh, telling people that because the wheat contains gluten, maybe, you know, it is not good for diabetes patients. Actually, it will, it will, it will, uh, what, I, what uh, I will comment is, uh, uh, wait one second, it was to be made clear to everybody how to make it clear. I need slide. Uh, is my screen visible? Yes. It is visible. Okay, wait one second. Uh, let me find out. Usually I see that uh, many of the diabetes, you know, patients, they no. go off gluten. I, I can show that. I wait one second. How to? Yes. Wait one second. It may take time actually. One slide which has proven, mm -hmm. uh, international medical journals have proven that uh, there are, see remember the the whole grains, you know, whole. what is the difference between a bread and a whole grain? The whole grain contains more than 5000 types of different phytochemicals in that. Okay. Um. In, in your bread, in your bread, because it is a defined food, there are no different types of phytochemicals. Those all phytonutrients and phytochemicals once taken properly actually reduce the risk of diabetes because remember if you are eating a wheat chapati it contains a lot of fiber okay but if you are eating a bread it does not contain any fiber right so that fiber is the problem is the is the is the solution if you are eating whole grains whole grains means uh, uh, whole grains means whole wheat whole corns whole uh, whole ragi they contain a lot of uh, uh, fibers. They will never cause your sugar to raise. But if you are eating a processed uh, grains like bread, pasta, or uh, some noodles, they may increase actually your sugar, not the whole grains. It is never given anywhere that uh, uh, the grains actually uh, cause this. That is the thing. I will find out. You ask other question now. Okay. Any specific diet yeah. to be followed? Yes. 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 Okay. Done. 
so this is the slide uh, okay. uh, it is uh, from uh, the uh, british medical center public health fiber intake and lifestyle this is whole grains accumulating evidence indicates that greater dietary fiber intake reduces the risk for type 2 diabetes cardiovascular disease certain cancers weight gain obesity and diverticular disease as well as functional constipation so if you are taking a lot of whole grains you will not develop diabetes your sugars will go down you will not have obesity you will not have certain cancers so actually it is very good to take uh, this thing right yeah wonderful thank you mm -hmm. doctor yeah. any specific diet to be followed at night to bring down high blood sugar high high blood sugar in the fasting uh see uh, the uh, the uh, it what it what matters is the whole food plant based diet uh, particularly if you want to uh, bring the sugar down eat eat food before 8 pm uh, that is one because actually the number of hours will be more, okay so it is personal satisfaction that uh, you go for a walk or uh, take little apple cider vinegar apple cider vinegar is damn good to reduce the blood sugars uh, and uh, eat normal food uh, if you are a type 2 diabetic in 100% of the times diabetes reverses you you i have more than 200 to 300 videos of people who in whom the diabetes has reversed just watch them be let them be your motivation and you can actually reverse it uh, 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 apple cider vinegar reduces blood sugars uh, then some uh, sort of uh, uh, whole grains little whole grains is good any whole grain uh, Mm, I don't think low glycemic foods have helped in my patients. I think it is a whole food. Jitna log roti jada khate hai, rather unki sugar kam aati hai sugar. Very amazing information. Yes. How to reduce the drugs, drug, dosing or uh, insulin by following this type of diet? How do we kind of? You slowly, slowly, slowly reduce. Simple funda is slowly, slowly. You stop insulin. Keep reducing the insulin by two, two units, four, four units daily. or maybe weekly and stop one one tablet at your own uh, means a uh, remember uh, international medical journals have proven that uh, there are more the there are more deaths with the more the intake of drugs more you take drugs there are more deaths by stopping the drugs you will not die at any way how many almonds can be consumed daily should they be soaked yes or, or because see god has made uh, all the nuts uh, given the power of dryness because they contains a lot of heat energy so uh, god made them uh, dry dry means uh, there all the enzymes are uh, in the sleeping condition so you have to activate them so they should always be soaked how what is the correct way of soaking them never soak them in more water many people have a habit they soak 10 almonds in one katori of water if you are doing that you should drink that water because all the vitamins will be lost my recommendation is just wash them in running water so that all the polish and all that uh, uh, wrong stuff gets washed away and then put them in your katori as such uh, in the morning they will be uh, means soften up and you can eat them don't remove their peels and i uh, in my opinion not more than 20 nuts should be taken in one day although the study shows that the more you take the nuts the your sugar levels reduces your cholesterol level reduces and uh, the chances of developing dying from heart attack reduces but in my opinion because god made all the god gave covering to all the uh, all the uh, dry fruits like almonds are were made in a shell almonds are actually uh, almond covering you have to break them if uh, in, in the door or with the some uh, hard device so if you if you bring that natural state of almonds i can bet you will not eat more than 10 because it is very difficult to break them when you bring walnut it is very difficult to break the walnut shell so you will rather get fed up man i cannot take more than 10 to 15 maximum you will take 5 so i think it's good to take nuts but to in in little quantity because that's why they are packed yes um dr madhav nayak here and he's asking as per dr j fung toxicity of insulin insulin to be stopped for type 2 diabetes by intermittent fasting by professor roy taylor what's your view 
Uh, I have no idea about it. Uh, in my opinion, uh, just uh, there's no need for fasting. You just have food. Uh, already uh, uh, living on a whole food plant-based diet is the biggest fast which anybody can do on this earth. So uh, rather enjoy mm -hmm. your roti, enjoy your f uh, rice, uh, add as, as much as you want. And uh, I think it is quite uh, fair to stop the insulin slowly, 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 slowly. You 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 mentioned about food having code like a post code postal code, but roti and rice are processed yes. foods. Will they have a natural code? Rice, see, uh, yes, uh, rice is grown in nature, and uh, uh, if you see brown rice, it is natural. Brown rice is always natural. Uh, it has got a lot of fiber, and all those fibers contain enzymes. And if you look at whole grains, which are directly taken from the fields, and you should know then they are not refined. If you start refining, uh, then all the fiber is lost. Remember how to know because uh, in my uh, area, Haryana, we people have our own fields and we all, all the stuff we get from uh, my own fields. I, I have all my vegetables coming from my own uh, uh, land and uh, all the fruits, also most of the fruits we grow ourselves and all the chapat, uh, wheat and rice are grown in our fields. So we get actually uh, this uh, crude atta. So whenever I am in Delhi and whenever I am there in Bombay, I uh, I become happy more because the roti is very soft there. But actually that is not healthy and that is not the whole food. And th that is what the natural code is not there. So it will raise your sugar. But if fiber is more, actually if you eat crude roti, you will never love it. It is very difficult to digest. It will be very difficult to chew also. So uh, I think that is whole food if taken properly will never create problem. Also, uh, sometimes I see poor Peter, people eating very thick uh, wheat roti and it's so dry and then eat with chew very well because it's so dry and then the vegetables with it and, all. and they can work harder than us. Yes, that's why. That is the reason why. Yeah. Asking any vegan recipe book, please. Yes, there are many vegan recipes. Rupa ji can provide you. Uh, she, she Already she is also writing... Uh, one book on milk natives and uh, uh, we have some Indian books by Saul, Dr. Uh, uh, Bimal Chajar and then Dr. Vishwarupraya Chaudhary also has the written one book on uh, raw vegan, uh, not only on raw, uh, on veg vegan diet, uh, which is lifestyle recipes. And I recommend personally one book uh, which is going to come uh, in December end by Dr. Michael Greger, How Not to Die Cookbook. I recommend all of you please buy it. It, there will be no match for that book. No match for that book. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Uh, Dr. Saab, uh, this, this Kavit Sethi is asking, you have a lot of information which you could not cover. Can you please email me the presentation on my yes, email? It will, this link will be posted by Rupaji very soon. Yeah, yeah. We have all your emails and uh, uh, we can post the information. Um, all the data you want PDF whatever plus I am going to put the this video is already recorded today and we will put it up uh, on YouTube channel of Ahinsa festival and right now it is also there on Facebook you can see tomorrow day after already some people are watching it um, next question is is Kohinoor Basmati brown rice okay uh, uh, I have no idea if it is a brown rice properly and it is not uh, very tasty to eat it will be good only but uh, I think you should check it you should check it because I personally recommend go to the fields and see what rice you are buying but I think if they are, uh, it is a branded company and if they are selling it uh, under proper uh, trademarks and proper uh, this thing it will be good only so uh, doctor all the questions are almost over uh, okay. there are also wonderful everyone has been writing also thank you for valuable information. Thank you, doctor. Uh, thanks a lot to the Hinsa team for organizing these webinars, all that. Uh, doctor, we should uh, be doing something more, you know, topic wise in future. Yes, yes. Because so many questions, so many. Oh, there are some more. Okay, they are saying thank you very much to you. Yes, yes. And uh, to all of you, just I want to tell you two things. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, just my last words, uh, be in touch uh, because see future is these webinars only. It is very difficult for me to travel all over the India. But I 
keep doing the webinars uh, i have some of my followers uh, just be in touch uh, in my facebook book uh, facebook pages uh, like i have a website called as uh, medisujog.com uh, I, 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 is the screen showing now uh, no not okay, please okay. share it again yeah and i'll be screen. sharing your number yeah so uh, this is this is my uh, this thing uh, my facebook page uh, my www.medisujog.com and i have two facebook pages uh, where i do my research and keep posting there there are two facebook pages one page is diabetes reversal with whole food plant based diet and other page is medisujog please uh, follow my research over here and uh, be in touch i will be doing a lot of webinars in the future uh, because a lot of information has to be shared and people have to be guided properly uh, so be in touch and uh, hopefully we all will evolve because i also need to learn from your questions yes doctor we can also write your email in the chat box for everyone yeah. to uh, it is pavan mathavan at the rate yahoo.co.in pavan mathavan hmm at the rate yahoo.co.in p w a w a n w a d h a w a n at the rate yahoo.co.in okay i'm writing it here I yeah. have it. Yes. Yeah. So that's your email, your cell number, your website, your Facebook presence. Yes. And uh, I'll also be emailing uh, whatever data is possible for me to email. Yes, definitely. This was the part of the Ahinsa festival. Today was the eleventh day, and this was the eleventh event of today. We had eleven events today. So uh, this is the end of the day. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. We have one more uh, webinar coming up by Dr. Sarwanan, who stays in Kanyakumari. Yes. Wonderful. And he is practicing also the whole food plant-based diet, and he will be talking on a new topic that is autoimmune disorders. That will be very useful because there are such strong medications people are taking almost for years, and then they suffer from two things. One is the disease itself. and one is the side effects of very strong medication like immunosuppressants so please share with us all this amazing story and the testimonials if possible all right so uh, thank you very much doctor for taking out you know your sunday evening which could have been used for something else but uh, giving us time and uh, such profound knowledge yes thank, thank you, you thank you everybody see you yeah bye bye, bye.